Well, happy Saturday, everyone. Uh, welcome to the latest edition of the Florida Panthers post game, brought to you by FloridaHockeyNow.com. I'm your host, George Richards. Uh, Panthers get a nice, nice win tonight in Nashville. Tennessee down on Broadway in uh, Music City. The Panthers uh, play a tight one. That one had a real playoff feel to it. Nashville, a team uh, trying to, to, to stay in the Western Conference race. They hold, uh, I believe, the top wild card in the West. Uh, really needed uh, some points out of tonight's game against the Panthers. Did not get it. Florida Panthers with a 4-1 win. Uh, very, much closer than that. Panthers get two empty net goals in the final minute. Uh, Final uh, minute seven, uh, one from Jonathan Huberto, the other from Gus Forsling. Uh, but the uh, Panthers with a 2-1 game, uh, they got off to a very nice start. They took a 1-0 lead. Carter Verhage gives them the goal. Spencer Knight gives up one right there, but that was a lot of defensive breakdowns. Uh, Ryan Johansson right in front of the net. Big, uh, nice backdoor pass from Philip Forsberg. Nothing he could really do about it. Wide open shot uh, from Johansson. Uh, but that was it. 24 saves for Spencer Knight. Another terrific outing for him. Uh, I asked Andrew Burnett about his confidence in Spencer Knight lately. Florida, obviously, has been bringing him into games. He's won four straight games. Uh, Burnett said uh, his confidence is the same as it's always been, but uh, th that's probably not the case. I mean, uh, Spencer Knight had some rough games earlier in the year. The Panthers wisely sent him down to Charlotte, got him some playing time at different points in this season. And uh, Spencer talking to the media tonight after the game said that was good for him. It was good for him to go down there and play. It's good for him to go down there and play in some different situations. The AHL not always known for its defensive uh, ac acumen. I mean, you know, good goalies, it's hard to tell, uh, you know, what's going on down there some nights because you'll say, oh, my gosh, the guy gave up five goals. Well, you don't know what was going on in that game. So um, that's why everybody has scouts there to see it for their own two eyes, but it was good for Spencer Knight to go down there and see some, face some adversity. He had a shutout in, in Charlotte. Um, he comes back here and had to carry the load, if you do remember, with, when Sergey got hit in the mouth in Los Angeles. Um, and he had to play that entire West Coast four-game trip. I think that was big for Spencer Knight as well. So another good night for, for, for the rookie goalie uh, for the Panthers and, and a big night for rookie Anton Lundell as well. He gives the Panthers a 2-1 uh, lead uh, with 4.44 remaining in the second period. Again, it was a tight game. Uh, I think shots were 7-6 in the first period. Just, you know, a lot of defensive play. Uh, it was a real struggle for, for both teams. You could tell um, that Nashville wanted this one, but you could also see that the Panthers did. So uh, a really nice game for them. Again, a team that's playing for seeding, right? They're not playing for to extend their season like Nashville is. Um, so to come out, play on a Saturday night, second half of a back-to-back -back in Nashville. Saturday night in Nashville, those are fun games. Uh, for the home team, and I'm sure Nashville does very well uh, on the record books in those games. But the Panthers came to play. It was a business trip, like I wrote today in FloridaHockeyNow.com. Panthers flew out late last night. They didn't have time to enjoy Broadway and you know going to Tootsie's and, and enjoying the honky tonks in downtown Nashville. Uh, they, you know, probably their, their most exciting times. Maybe they caught a couple sets while they were drinking coffee this morning. So. Um, not a bad way to treat it. You know, you like to go to Nashville, but you like to get a win even more. So good game for the Panthers. They come home. Um, they'll be, uh, they're probably uh, heading to the airport right about now. As you're watching this, they'll land in Fort Lauderdale sometime Sunday morning. They'll take Sunday off and uh, they'll be back at it Monday uh, for practice. And Tuesday, the Anaheim Ducks come to town. Florida 1-0 and against the Ducks this season. They beat them 3-0. That was the Aaron Ekblad game where he got hurt. Um, Panthers obviously won that game, a second half of a back-to-back. -back. That was the last game of that West Coast swing. Um, and Anaheim, a team not playing for anything, so we'll see how that goes. Panthers right now, uh, six-point lead on the Carolina Hurricanes for first place in the, in the Eastern Conference. 
that brings with it home ice advantage throughout the eastern portion of, of the playoffs. And you probably uh, you probably get the Washington Capitals in round one. You uh, skip uh, having to play Tampa Bay, Boston, or Toronto in the first round. So that's you know that's that's pretty good too. So anyway, that'll do it for us here at FloridaHockeyNow.com Panther Post Game. Um, don't forget hit subscribe here on the YouTube channel. We got a lot of stuff planned. As soon as we get to that that magic number, man, one thousand subscribers, we're going to do a lot of fun stuff. So uh, tell your friends, tell your mailman, tell anybody you know, subscribe to the Florida Hockey Now YouTube channel. Come visit us at FloridaHockeyNow.com, your number one source for Panthers news coverage anywhere. Anywho, we will see you Tuesday for the uh, the Panthers pregame from the morning skate at FLA Live Arena. Panthers Ducks coming up next. I'm George Richards. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.